Alright, so in this video I'm going to expand upon the use of the Pathfinders panel and how it relates to uh, logo type. So I'm going to go to File and Open and I've already navigated my way to the spicy Pathfinders folder and I'm going to open up this simple drawing of this very simple word, spicy. So without the scan you can see it right there and what I'm going to do is I need two copies of this word okay so you can see right here there's a layer called spicy outlines if i turn off the eyeball i have the outlines on that layer you see another layer underneath called spicy flames i need this word on both of these layers okay so to prepare for this i'm going to go to view menu turn off my smart guides view turn off snap to point and I'm going to take my black arrow and select all of that. Okay. All of that is up here on the green layer. I need a copy down here. And just so you can see the difference, I'm going to double click on spicy flames right here and change the anchor point to, let's say, medium blue. Okay. One layer can be green anchor points. This layer will be blue. So when I select everything on the top layer, I get this little light, this little indicator on the right side of the layer. That is telling me I have selected a bunch of items on that layer. If I want to copy down onto this layer, I simply take this little green, hold my Option key or Alt key on a PC for a copy, and I drag it down. I let go of the mouse first, then I let go of the option key, and now you can see I've got the word with blue anchor points. So I have the word spicy on this layer called blue flames, and I have the word spicy on this layer with green anchor points, spicy outlines. Okay, so once I have made a copy, I'm going to turn off all my layers to start from the beginning. Okay, so I'm going to turn on my bottom layer. This is the artwork we're going to try to recreate. Then I'm going to turn on the eyeball for the very top layer. With my black arrow, I'm going to select everything, go right up here to my stroke, and instead of a thin one point stroke, I'm going to hit the up arrow to make that an eight point stroke. So now I have the word spicy with a bold outline. Once those outlines are done, turn off the eyeball. You're done with that layer for now. I'm gonna come down to the flames where I made a copy of the word and I'm gonna turn on that eyeball. Okay, same word, just the thin outlines again. I'm gonna select it and then click outside. And by doing that, it resets the stroke panel to one point. Okay, because I've clicked on a line that's one point. Now I can zoom in and I'm gonna draw one long continuous line all the way through the word spicy. So I'm gonna start outside, click and drag, and I'll come up like this option key for a corner and come down then I'll come back up option key for a corner and come back down option key to start from a corner and I'm just gonna make this long wavy line option key to start from a corner and I'll go up right outside of the S and right into the letter P I'm gonna keep on going with one long continuous line all the way around. If you don't get it perfect like this corn, don't, don't worry about that. Just make yourself something that looks like a decent line of flames. I'll come around up to that corner. Option key to start from a corner. And when I come out of the letter P, I'm going to go right across into the letter I. Like I said, one long continuous line. And we'll just keep going around here. 
option key for a corner and come down and across and into the letter C. Option key for a corner and come around and around and around. Option key for a corner, come out, cut right across the middle of that C right there and right up into the letter Y. Again, one long continuous line because these are flames that run through the entire word. So I want this long continuous line to run through the entire word. Right out of the Y and right up into the exclamation point. Option key to start from a corner. Come up here and option key to start from a corner. And then I'm going to exit right there. Command click and I can zoom out by option clicking with my zoom tool. And you can see it right there if I turn off my scan. I just did one long continuous line all the way across the word. So now all I have to do, as you can see on our scan, the upper half of the letters are yellow. The bottom half of the letters are red. So I'll turn off the scan again so you can see this. With the top outlines turned off, because I'm done with those. I'm just working on the flames. I'm going to click and drag over the entire word and the line of flames. And on my Pathfinder panel, I'm going to come to the bottom left corner. I'm going to divide the entire word from a yellow upper half and a red lower half by clicking divide. And remember, any time you use divide on the Pathfinder, you go to object menu and ungroup the results. Now when I click outside, I'm going to take my black arrow and just skim the top of the letters. So I'll just click and drag like this and just come down so I just hit the top edge of all these letters like that. I'll come over to my swatches and fill them yellow. Then I'm going to start down below and do the same thing. I'm going to click and drag and just skim the bottom edges of the reds. Click on red. I'll hit this edge right here because that was a little higher. Hit red. Now these are supposed to be just color. So I'm going to take my black arrow again, select the entire word, go to my black stroke at the bottom of my toolbox and hit the question mark key. So all I have left is the yellow upper half, the red lower half, and those sit right underneath my spicy outlines. Once I'm done with that, I do not need my scan layer anymore. I can throw that in the trash. And that is how you divide a word using the Pathfinder. Can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Bye.